Good morning, first grade. Um, today is our last day of using box paper because I think you have figured out how to skip a space by yourself now. So probably this is going to be our last day of box paper practice. So I think that's pretty exciting. Um, but to start with, we are going to do um, remember last week how we started mixing together our different kind of line strokes? So we're going to be practicing that again. We're still keeping our clock strokes and our line strokes separate for right now. Um, but last week, you were able to write words that had tall line letters along with dash stroke letters and slant stroke letters. So that is really neat. And we're going to keep that up. All right, so get out some box paper. All right, and remember, we always start close to the edge of each box, right? Because we treat the edge of the box like the margin, and all of our letters start close to the margin or the last letter. All right, so in your first box, write I, I, E. What are you going to write? Excellent. So tell your pencil how to move, and then say the sounds afterwards. All right, in the next box, you're going to write class. What are you going to write? Good. All right, remember to start that at the correct spot. All right, we'll skip this box because we're starting a new word. All right, in the next box, write z. Make sure you start it close to the margin so it goes the right direction. Right. And this whole time we'll be telling our pencil how to move. All right, in the next box, E, E. What are you going to write, class? Excellent. Find your starting spot. Where is it? Very good. And tell your pencil how to move. All right, in the box after that, write k. Class, what are you going to write in the box after that? Very good. All right, we'll skip the next box. In the next one, write b. Class, what are you going to write? Good, b, very good. So make sure you have that correct starting spot and telling your pencil how to move. All right, in the next box, write a uh, you ooh, ooh. What are you going to write? Good. Make sure you say the sounds after you finish writing it as well. And then in the last box, B. Again, B. All right, class, now it's your turn to tell me what to write. I'll write it and you can check your work. So what goes in the first box? Excellent. If I -E. So remember, all of our phonograms are going to start close to the margin, unless they're a clock stroke letter, and then we start there and we go over a space, right? But this, these are all line letters or dash letters. So I -I E. All right, what's next? Good. All right, now remember the starting spot for this one is important because I've seen a lot of backwards. And that actually is kind of a different letter. So we start at the dotted line, we go down and back up and then around. All right, good. We skip the next box. What's in the next one? Good. Zzz. Again, this is an important one to remember to start it close to the margin because I've seen a lot of these that are backwards too. All right, what's next? Good, eh, 
E. And where does my at E start? Very good. Halfway between the dotted line and the baseline, and it starts with the dashed stroke. And then we go around to four. At E. And what's next? Good. K. Not k. S. Just k. So that is li our line letter k. Right, so and again, our starting spot for the second part of this is important, a clock space out on the dotted line. All right, we can't start it up here. We can't start it here. That's going to be a capital or halfway to a capital. All right, so we've got to start right at the dotted line. All right, we'll skip a spot. What's next? Good. B. And remember, that starts at the top baseline. Right, and close to the last letter, that way we have to make it go the right direction. What's next? Very good. Uh, you, ooh, oh. And what's the last phonogram? Good, it's b again. Right, and if you b, look at my mouth, it looks like a line, so I know it's a line letter, and I'm going to start at the top baseline. All right, now let's go back and make sure yours looks like mine. And then we are ready to read our words. So which, for anything that has more than one sound when we've been reading it, which sound have we been saying? Very good. We've been saying the first sound. All right, so we're going to keep doing that. So, good, I, p, ip, all right, good, z, e, k, put it together, good, sec, yeah. these are all nonsense words, how about this one, good, it's b, a, b, bub. All right, excellent job class.